Hey everyone, this is the Erroneous One with another video for Kingdom Hearts Unchained X. Uh, today I'm going to take on the Three Wishes Part 4 uh, challenge for Adamantite Ore Challenge. Hopefully we can beat it. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right into this real quick. So this is going to be my setup right here. Um, I'm going to use the new Illustrated Terra right there with an Attack Boost 1 on him. I'm going to use my uh, Sword, Dawn, and Goofy Metal right there. Uh, I am going to use the uh, Rax Metal, Roxas, Axel, and Xion, uh, because it's a zero cost strength up increase, and I, anything you can get on this one that's free is going to be great. Um, my main uh, damage dealer right here is going to be my Gilded Final Form Sora uh, right here, and I'll have Hades bring it up the rear in case I need him. So that's going to be it right there. Um, this is going to be my initial setup. I might be changing this around pretty soon as well, depending on how well it goes. Uh, mainly because um, special attack gauge management is really important in this one. The overall goal of this particular mission is to beat everybody um, within one turn. And there are multiple groups of enemies, and there are no chests in this stage to refill your gauge with. So that's going to be a problem. Uh, this time, let's see, I think, what am I going to take? This is maybe, no, okay. I'll be taking uh, Chrono's um, Musketeer Donald, uh, primarily because it is um, fully chip and dailed out, and it is only a one uh, cost gauge. Only deals three minor power hits, but it's AoE, and it's one cost, and that's what we want right now. So that's that one. Alright, let's see how well this goes. I'm going to try and avoid spending more than, I think, 4 SP per fight. Because hopefully I can recover enough to keep on going. Mm -hmm. So here he is, the first time, level 150 Fat Bandit. So, let's pop him out real quick. So, not doesn't damage down that one. Uh, tap. Mm -hmm. Use that one that's free. This deals almost no damage, that's not good. Uh, let's hope that my Sora can deal enough damage, I can just tap my way to victory. Okay, yeah, that's more than enough damage there, so that, that was actually pretty good. So I can tap here, and that's going to be it for that one. So, I'm feeling pretty confident. I have 14 gauge going in, I only, only raised one really, so let's keep on hoping I can keep on managing that. Go in there. Thousand that time. Uh, swipe. Activate. And have sword go off. Ooh. Okay, let's see here. Swipe. Yeah, swipe. Okay, good. Yeah, so this seems to be a pretty good setup so far, guys. Back to being 15 full gauge. And now we have a morning star. Single morning star. Uh, tap again, activate, alright, see how much damage Sword can do here, ooh, I don't know, let's see, tap, yeah, I got him, tap, you got it, alright, so that seems to be the setup to use, at least uh, for me in this particular case, that uh, times three strength increase really powers up that Sora against these guys, level 150 or not, even though they're Morning Stars um, with lots of health, it still takes them out. And it's also keeping me uh, within the SP gauge requirements as well, which is great. Ooh, I don't know, let's find out. Swipe. Uh oh, I don't know if I'm gonna beat this one out. Let's use Donald. Probably should use Hades there. Oh, okay. That was good. I think I got kind of lucky there in that one. Um, what's up here? Oh, this materials. Okay, nothing else up there. Yeah, that lack of chest uh, repunch right here makes this one really tricky. But Okay, another single morning star. Tap. Ooh, all right, Sora, you're a boy. And tap and tap. 
I'm probably gonna take that paralysis off my master form sword now and probably throw on like an attack boost uh, max or attack boost two on him more than likely pretty soon. Um, Cause when he's guilted, he deals so much damage. He's a really good middle when he's guilted. Um, I didn't find a lot of use for him except for uh, raid bosses when they're gonna kill you in one hit anyway. Um, mainly because he takes so much health off of your gauge there, but when he's guilted, it's more than worth it, it seems. Hit here. Bam. Alright. Um. I guess safe side, I will activate, um, Hades. Get that cushion. Yeah, that's good. So, 12 more. I think there's one more group of uh, enemies up here on top, if I am right. Yeah, target. This is the last one. Four of them here. And we have 12 gauge, so we should be more than fine. I should be able to go ham on my SP now, just to knock everybody out. Mm -hmm. Sorry for all the notification uh, beeps there. Oh yeah, we're going to take everybody out here. Sora should finish them all off after this. Yep, that's it. So there we go, guys. That is the um, mm -hmm. Three Wishes Part 4 Adamanti Ore Challenge with all objectives complete. That was a tough one. Definitely one of the uh, hardest ones I've seen um, in a while there. Uh, again, it's uh, it's more than manageable, but it's just that requirement where you have to kill all the groups of enemies uh, within one turn, and there are no chests to replenish your SP gauge. Um, that's what makes it really tricky. So you really have to have medals that are going to be hard-hitting, um, as well as um, costing as little gauge as possible. So those one costs, like Master, uh, Final Form Sora, the Nurax medal, if you guys uh, managed to get one of those, and um, I guess m my teammates... Um, Musketeer Donald was a great hit too as well. And of course the new Terra. Uh, this made it a lot easier. If you guys have the Pooh and Piglet medal, that can easily re replace Terra in this one. What are the rewards for this one? Alright, alright. So jewels, avatar coins, and three adamantite orbs. Or so there we go. That'll be it. Um, I'll be coming back pretty soon. Uh, I'll be going through all the other uh, Adamantite Ore challenges as well. Um, I have the uh, all four of them posted so far for Three Wishes. Uh, if you guys are interested, uh, keep, uh, keep checking out my page, and I'll have the other ones posted as well. You guys take care.